Alright guys, welcome to the next part in the Legacy Collection 2 playthrough of Mega Man 8. And for this part, we're gonna take on Frostman. Oh boy. Oh my god, you sound like a freaking retard, man. You're... That did not... <laughs> that sounded like generic giant idiot type guy man <laughs> like oh my goodness oh i mean i guess that voice is okay i guess in a sense if it captures you know the image of what the big giant guy is so, uh. all right so here's Frostman's stage and really i'm surprised this part is not ice and i'm slipping but all right i'm gonna show off the little class bomb here look at that shit this is what the Clash Bomb does, or... I've been calling it Clash Bomb or Flash Bomb. I think it's called Flash Bomb. But this is what the Clash Bomb does. It sends out freaking giant ass explosion of just freaking giant lights and everything like that. It's pretty freaking good, man. Freaking stats. And this stage, really, it's not too bad. Except for one segment. The most, one of the most notorious, or possibly the most notorious segment in all of Mega Man 8, people. Jump, jump, slide, slide. I'm not kidding, by the way. It's actually the easiest. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't look too bad, but believe me, it gets, it gets rough. God, there's also freaking bolts you gotta catch on this segment here. Oh my goodness, I forgot about that shit. The problem is I'm trying to be careful so I'm not bothering about the bolts right now. I could get them later on, I guess. But yeah, this is all this segment is really. You just wanna be careful and here we go this is when things start getting slightly tough but you just want to start hanging to the left to give you as much time as you can and then you want to jump jump it's a bit memory there there we go but the segment really it's not too bad but it, it takes a lot of memory and you can die quite a bit on it and that was the easiest we haven't seen the end of that little snowboard segment there. We have not seen the end of it, man. There's gonna be quite a couple more like that later on. In fact, there should be one more in this stage after this part. Oh! Jesus, I forgot about that. Yeah. Besides the snowboarding segments, gotta deal with all these fucking ice penguins and shit like that. Jesus, man. Ow. Yeah, watch out for the sound. Actually, I think I gotta use this. I think I can. Usually, you have to use the ice cubes at these giant fucking whales. <laughs> these giant robotic whales are shooting at you, but luckily I have the tornado hole, so. Shit. Tornado hole fucks these guys up pretty bad, as you see there. I don't think we can get that yet. Yeah, there's no... That's another thing I have to come back to later if I want to get it. So I'm definitely going to have to replay this stage again, man. Shit. Alright. Oh! Holy fuck, you know what? I'm going to flank this guy. There we go. No, no, that was just a nice block for the sake of being a nice block there. Okay. Oh, Jesus! Okay, it's much faster to use the Mega Ball here.
that guy. Yeah, unfortunately, there's some of these blocks where you can use the Clash Bomb or Flash Bomb or that, whatever, to break. But then there's other ones where, unfortunately, I'm going to have to come back to later to this stage in order to get it because I don't have the weapon yet. It's the same weapon. It's it's a fire weapon that's the same one that's used for those other uh, bolts in uh, Bomb Man stage that I missed, unfortunately, in the last part. But... We'll come back to that when we get to it, I guess. Oh, jeez. I remember these guys. These guys don't do anything. They're just, they just block your view. But really, it's not that bad. And they don't even damage you. You can shoot them, but they don't really, they don't really do anything to you. And oh boy, another elevator segment. So you know what that means, man. You know what that means. Oh boy. There we go. Oh. Alright, this one's not this one's gonna be much tougher, so probably not gonna be talking much in this segment. I'm concentrating here. Oof, I almost missed that jump. <laughs> I thought I was actually at the end there after all those spike things there, but forgot there was one more jump. Oh gosh. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Finally, we're at the boss here. Woo! Alright. Oh gosh, ice sculptures. These are really nice. Huh. What is that? Please. Oh god! I'll crush you! I will beat you! Okay, tough guy. Well, I'm not the same as those ice sculptures of yours, so. Oh jeez. He's as annoying as the whales. Jesus. I actually don't think it's a crap man. Jesus. Okay. Oh. Yeah, actually, you know, I remember him. He's really not too bad. He's just annoying. Sometimes it's one of the things I do. Once you know what to do to dodge him, he's really not that bad. And he's such a huge target. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> He didn't have any stupid quote quips or anything like that to say before he died. So, I guess we could say Frostman's voice was actually pretty good. Though, in all actuality, probably not. <laughs> Alright, so we got the Ice Wave. So we basically got that one attack he was using against us there a lot. And I will show that off next time. There's actually another really good ability, man. Again, Mega Man 8's got a lot of really good Robot Master weapons. In fact, I'll say it here. All of Mega Man 8's Robot Master weapons are good, except one. There's one really bad one in this game. There's one really, really bad one. But we'll get to that one to get to it. <laughs> That's not in these first four Robot Masters. In fact, the next Robot Master we're going to be taking on, Clown Man's Robot Master weapon, is pretty darn useful. So, we'll get to Clown Man next time. See you guys then. <laughs>